Afternoon cactus people. Today we're having a little look at um, leaf cuttings which you can take from various uh, succulents like the uh, Pachyphytums, uh, Echeveria canna, uh, the ones that have got nice thick fleshy leaves. Uh, they normally do very good as leaf cuttings. The uh, <coughs> reason for doing this is I was having a clear up as we were getting ready for spring and this arm of this um, Pachyphytum, Bracteosum, it was hanging right over the pot and looking very unsightly so I thought I'd take him off and root him up. Uh, before I do that there's plenty of um, material on there we can use for leaf cuttings. So uh, I'll just show you what I found in the pot that um, fell off over winter into the um, gravel underneath. It didn't actually make any roots on it so um, although they will form little uh, cuttings themselves, little plants themselves, it's not always in ideal conditions for them so um, the idea of this is we put them somewhere where they're going to form roots and um, make nice little plantlets for you. So I just thought I'd show you that one before we do anything else. And <coughs> at some stage, I know this is Ziggy's cactus house, but uh, you will come across um, succulents in the, the course of looking for your cactus and growing cactus. They're inevitable. Um, you might think you're, you're alone somewhere, like an island like Greenland or Bornholm or somewhere. But sooner or later, succulents will catch up with you and you will acquire some in your collection. It might be you're in um, the garden centre one, one afternoon and there's no cactus around, so you start looking at what else is there and you think, oh, it's, you know, they're not too bad, I suppose. And before you know it, you've got a few in your greenhouse. So slowly I'm learning how to deal with the things. Anyway, but this one... What I'm going to do is take off all the lower leaves and put them in a, a medium like um, gravel. Probably just arrange a few. I won't do them all now, just to give you an idea and probably need a bigger tray than this. Uh, but if you sit them on the gravel, uh, eventually the roots will start to form at the end of it. And if the roots have got somewhere to get into, then they'll start growing. It doesn't need any nutrient in there at the moment, because um, all you're doing is giving somewhere for the roots to, to grow into. Um, but eventually, once the roots are established, you can carefully transplant them into something that's got some nutrient in. But until they've used up all the nutrient in the leaf itself, they're quite sort of self-contained and don't need... Um, I've, I've never fed them until they've actually rooted into some proper compost so uh, but we'll deal with that in another, in another video uh, but this one when I've taken all the leaves off that I'm going to take which probably can take it up quite quite a bit further so that's not looking too good the mice have had a, a go at this one uh, the ate some of my succulents while they were under the uh, the fleece during the winter. They thought it was a good place to be and uh, it was nice and warm for them I suppose and something to nibble on. I don't know if it's much nutrient for them in these. Uh, there, that's probably best if I take off this bit here and leave that to rest for a while and then root this up as a plant would probably be fine um, so rather than waiting for a small cutting have a fully established plant there <coughs> in a month or two uh, here's one I think I took this as a cutting last year rather than a leaf cutting as you can see they try and flower during the winter this one the buds will be opening very shortly not huge flowers but uh, it's something to look at when there's not much else about and there's a few buds I noticed coming on the Echeveria too. Uh, I think this is called Echeveria canna. I think it's an Echeveria crossed with some other sort of sedum. I'm not quite sure. Um, well, that's about it, I think. Oh, 
Got a couple of these pack of items. These were definitely from leaf cuttings last year, so you can see how these have uh, grown on. Come on, very well. Very pleased with this. And even more pleased because the parent plant actually died last year, so at least I've got these two to carry on now. But uh, I think that's about it for the, the time being. Thank you very much for joining us today. Hope that's been helpful to some people. See you in the next video.